Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Minister M.L. Kimball coming to you live, you guys. This morning, early in the morning, I was getting ready to take my, my normal relaxation moment with the Most High Yah and relax here. And uh, <clears throat> as I was getting ready to get into my study today, I just decided that I wanted to go down the lane of what we call tongues. Now, I don't know if you have heard of what tongues is or what we have been taught tongues is, but we need to talk about this because this is another scam that I am now realizing after I have studied to show myself approved in the Most High has revealed things to me. And it only gives me, I only have to be in the New Testament for a few seconds before he reveals something to me that he then gives me the uh, instruction right away to get it out to the people. And when I say the people, that's any of the people that are watching my platforms because I built these platforms so I can reach the people. And the reality is I have people watching me every day from TikTok to Facebook to Twitter to YouTube to our website so the reality is the enemy's not going to close my mouth and I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do as the leader that I am called to be the minister at M.L. Kimball Sr. Um, don't forget to visit us online at www.kns-ministries.org. You can send a donation if you choose to use our company cash tag by utilizing donate KNS. M I N. Now, we're going to deal with this. I had to stop in my tracks because this is something that I can't believe I am the most high is showing me things that we have to talk about. Now, I've been brought up in all kinds of different denominations in my life. I've been involved in apostolic. I've been involved in non-denominational. I've been involved in Baptist. I've been involved in Kojic. I've been a musician. I used to also uh, 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 function as a minister in the pulpit, essentially. I've preached in the pulpit, and I preached the same scamified Jesus message that was taught to me. And unfortunately, it's just now I'm just now realizing that the, those leaders that taught me these things, a lot of them just were blind or they just did not study. And uh, it's it's just the bottom line. And, 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 it, and the reason I can indict that to them is because if you did, then I need someone to answer for me these questions that nobody wants to deal with. So we're going to deal with the famous Acts 238. I've been in the apostolic church that said, if you didn't speak in tongues, you were not filled and you were not saved. I've been in churches where they had what was called the Terry room, the scamified Terry room, where they took you in a room and basically taught you how to speak in tongues so we're going to deal with tongues today and it's going to hurt and sting some people because now it's time to get the reality out and understand that you are faking the funk and you're playing because there's no way you can explain to me that this is truly a language speaking to the Most High, because truthfully, if you communicated with the Most High, you'd be afraid. I'd be afraid. You wouldn't want to hear his voice. So the reality of it is this. There's no evidence of anybody in the Tanakh, which he said to always remember, recite, and teach it to our children. So you can't run from that, parents. He said Always recite it and teach it. He said the Tanakh, the Torah, okay, the first five books of the Tanakh, he wanted us to learn, teach, recite, and teach it to our children's children forever. And he said, don't turn from the right to the left of it. So the reality of it is this. We're back to the, fa the facts of, are you really saying to me? that your conversation and your baby talk 
is really truly a conversation. You may be speaking to your God, but you're not speaking to the Most High God. And I'm getting ready to show you in Scripture now. You can fight with me. I don't know why the Most High led me to the New Testament scam today because I don't even go there today. I just wanted to deal with tongues. And ironically, this scripture is the only place it's found anywhere in the book. So that should automatically have your, your antennas up if you truly cared about knowing the truth of the matter. Or do you just want to be a blind sheep? Or are you faking the funk? Because the reality is the writing's on the wall and you can't run from it. It's one or the other. So we're going to go there, which I'm in the Sefer. You know how I am. I'm not going to read out of any other translation, but I am going to do that for today's purposes. I'm going to go to your scamified Acts 238 story. And we're not just going to skip to 238 apostolic church scams. We're going to start at the very first verse. And we're going to read this and walk through this. And I'm going to stop and I'm going to add in my ad libs. And then I'm going to close this, this video out. So regardless of how you feel about it, you don't like it, don't listen. But there's people listening and people being delivered. So my job. Is being completed every single time I do this, whether I'm doing it on camera or I'm doing it with my voice. They're listening to me. Maybe you're not. I don't care. The ones that are listening the most high is happy with me because he's happy that I'm turning these people away from the scam called Christianity, church, Jesus, any of it. Show me in scripture. You can't. So anyway, Acts 2 verse 1 says, And when the day of Shuavoth, which is the past of the Pentecost, was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. So let's stop right there. They were just in one place. So let's stop right there. Didn't say you had to be in some special uh, emotionalized scam. He didn't say you had to be anointed with oil and everybody standing around. It said they were just in one place. There's just like a whole group of people in one place. So we're going to stop right there. If the day of Pentecost, they were in one room. They were in one place. That's the only description that this scripture says. So don't add or take anything from it. So I'm walking you through exactly what the scripture says. You can argue with me. You can be mad at me. Take it up with the most high. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. So imagine standing in a room. Nobody did anything special. Nobody James Brown and Hukumashad and flipped around and did any type of show. Nobody danced with no music. It was no organ and drums. They were just in one room. And boom, there was a sound that came from heaven. So imagine the sound that everybody heard. So we have to understand that when this tongues that we have scamified and took and put in our churches today and lied on the most high and said that this is his language, you're a liar. Because here's the reality. When we look at this day, we have to take into account what it is. And these things happened before the tongues came. So we're going to look at this and then we're going to look at today. And then I'm going to ask you again. Are you sure that you're telling me that that language that you came up with is truly the language of the Most High? Because I'm going to tell you right now, you're a liar and you're a scam. Be honest with the Most High and he can deliver you. Get out of the scam that they told you. We all know how to get real holy and act real holy. It's not until we're in a real bad situation when you need to call on somebody I've called on Jesus and he didn't show up, 
but I've called on Yahuwah. And I tell you what, he's always showed up. So you better get your mind right on who you are supposed to worship. Because he said, besides him, there's no other. And if you can't show me where he changed it, I don't want to hear that. So let's continue. He says, so imagine that. So they were sitting there and boom, here comes the sound. It's wind, like a rushing wind. You can imagine what it sounded like. Imagine a windy day outside. You know what it sounds like when it's wind and it's shaking the house almost. That's what it's, what it's describing here. Filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it set upon each of them. So this is the part that don't nobody deal with. We just jump right to the part where they got the tongues. If this does not happen, then you cannot tell me that your tongue is the identical representation of what we are reading in scripture right here. I'm sorry. Now you can add the tongues all you want and make people believe that they're not saved because they don't speak in tongues. You can say that you're more holier than thou because you want to talk baby talk today. But let's be honest, the language of the book was Hebraic or Aramaic. You spoke one or the other. And the reality of it is, you didn't just start speaking in these ridiculous, hey, no, we all know how to do it at the drop of a feather. But it's not anything that has to do with the most high and you better get away from it. Because if this does not happen, because this happened before the tongues happened. The cloven tongues appeared. So you better tell me that when you're speaking in those tongues that you're getting ready to utilize and say, where's the cloven tongues that you saw? You better be able to describe to me some cloven tongues that appear to you. But not only you, I better have seen it. Everybody better have seen them. If we ain't seen no cloven tongues, get out of here. Telling me that that is a representation of the Holy Spirit. Now we're going to continue. You know what's a representation of the Holy Spirit? Obeying his commands and teaching other, others how to do the same. That's a representation of the Holy Spirit. Not some scamified language that they scammed you into believing. It's a communication to the Most High. He don't need you to talk like a baby to communicate with him. <coughs> And they were all filled with the Ruach HaKadosh, not no Holy Spirit, <coughs> not no Holy Ghost, the Ruach HaKadosh. When you put holy on it, you might as well tie a Catholic to it, and I can't do it. <coughs> and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. So the Spirit gave them utterance. See, we jump to the spirit part, but understand that before the spirit appeared, there were cloven tongues that appeared that everybody saw. It appeared to them, saw to them. everybody seen these tongues. Nobody wants to deal with that. We skeet right to the tongue part, and that's what we have infiltrated into our churches. We've taught our kids how to do it at a young age, and now... We have everybody. We know how to get real holy. If anybody ever comes to you and says, the Lord told me to tell you it's a scam right out the gate, right out the gate. That is your scam dar radar. If they ever lead off with God told me to tell you, the Lord told me to tell you. First of all, if the Lord or God told you to tell you anything to me, you better go back and check who you're talking to because I don't serve either one of them. I don't serve the Lord which represents Baal. I don't serve God, who supposedly has a wife, according to Google. I serve what the Most High said his name is. He said, I am Yahuwah. That is my name. My glory I will not give to no other, neither my praise to any graven images. He said that in Isaiah. So don't tell me he just changed his mind. And if he did, where's the scripture? 
Don't tell me what you think. Don't tell me what your preacher said. Show me in scripture, just like I'm showing you. And you got to explain this to me because this is the only place in the entire book, even the Apocrypha, that this even shows up. I'm the minister, Mel Kimball. Be blessed on purpose. dollars and 49 cents for this washing machine small body but big power with draining and drying functions do your intimate